Hi, hey, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. I'm here today to do a review on the Win and Win Dragonfly Compound Bow. It's new for 2015 2016. It comes in 38 inches, which is this model, and also a 40 inch model. Now, the 38 inch model comes with a solid um, carbon limb, and the 40 inch model comes with the split carbon limbs. Um, besides that, the risers are identical. Um, in size it's just the limb pockets are different on both models and um, the price is virtually the same between the both um, the winner win dragonfly has got lots of unique features I'll just run through the spec so 38 the dragonfly 38 is 38 inches um, axle axle 40 is 40 inches axle axle they weigh 4.1 pounds um, so it's very light for the t for a target bow um, they have twin cams, so top and bottom. So you've got a yoke system, this is a hybrid cam, sorry. Um, you've got a yoke system up the top and a straight system down the bottom, which is the same for the Dragonfly 40. Sorry, I thought they were twin cams. Um, so you've got a hybrid cam, which is similar to what you see on your PSEs and your Hoyts. Um, it's got a rotating module. So if I just jump in here, um, you've got two little allen keys here and you basically rotate the module you've got a draw stop up the top here that's a cable stop so very similar to a Hoyt um, down the bottom you've got the module and the draw stop um, the draw length on this is adjustable by I think it's about five five inches so it's got nine settings each each setting will be half an inch so about 4.5 inches of adjustment in draw length um, the bow is very smooth to draw carbon limbs from win and win which is nice now some of the things I really like about this bow which is unique is the cable guard it's carbon and you've all seen carbon cable guards but you haven't seen this win and win slim the cable guard down here so they they reduce the thickness of it so they actually cause it to bend in now most cable guards will bend but they get more through through cutting it now the cable slide is unique it will not fit on normal cable cable guard rods it's aluminium with roller bearings on the back and rollers for the cables i think that's a really nice cable slide overall i really like the bow the aluminium stops here it's a high quality product the strings look nice you have dual string stops here and one for the cable down the bottom and that's being served so that's good overall it looks like a nice bow and very well presented bow and i'll just do a zoom up here this is the gold so it's a gold marble kind of finish and it kind of changes in the light um, but it, to me it looks really really nice the finish looks a bit like a matthews with the kind of gridlock system here but very very nice comes in lots of different colors that's the yellow comes in red this is the blue so the blue up close um, down points of this bow a lot of modern compounds these days have a lower position point here for your rear stabilizers this bow doesn't have it so you're going to have to fit your stabilizers or, or rear stabilizer from the front or there is a spot here where you can mount them on the side now the dragonfly 40 which is the 40 inch has got a different limb pocket system that kind of move the limbs up a bit they've got these things on the side to reduce vibration um, absorb shock and this is the green so Green's kind of like a fairly dark green. Um, the strings on all these bows are color matched. So the green one's got a green and gray string. The blue one's got blue and it's gray. And the gold one's got gold and black. So they're all color matched strings. If you get a red one, you'll have a red and black string. Um, cable guards all match the colors. So this one's a green. It's got a green cable slide. To me, it's a very highly polished product for a target bow. Um, we're going to go and shoot this one now. We'll shoot the Dragonfly 40. They all shoot great. Um, so I'm not going to shoot both for this purpose. Um, 
but we're going to shoot this one now. They come, I'm pretty sure, in 40, 50, and 60 pounds. Um, draw length on this one, this is a 30, so this is going to be quite long for me. Um, and it's set on its near its maximum, or it is on its maximum now. So, um, so this one's going to be quite long for me to shoot, but that's okay, we'll shoot it and we can see what it shoots like. Okay, thanks. Bye. Um, first thing is one of my staff members shoots one of these at the for target archery. So out of all the bows in the shop, he actually preferred this one. Now, in its price point, there's not a lot of competition. So this sells for about $1,000 retail in Australia. So it's 1000 Australian dollars. Um, in that price point, you've got Hoyt Charger, which is a cast riser. This is a machine riser. Um, I think it's got plastic limb pockets. Um, I wouldn't put it in the same sort of category. I mean, it is a Hoyt, so you're obviously playing for the brand. Um, the PSC Supra is more expensive, about 1500 The Phenom is getting around that sort of, this sort of price, and it's probably a fair comparison to the Dragonfly. Um, but this bow, I think, is as good as any other bow. Um, and to me it looks nice, the quality is nice, so we're going to have a couple of shots with it and see what it sort of shoots like. So this bow is not set up. Um, this is a 50 pound model. Uh, I haven't sort of set it up with a peep or anything. Set it on 28 inches. So it'll be in a middle setting, it is. So this, the draw length of this will be somewhere from 30 down to 20, no, oh, maybe 30 and a half down to 25. So I'm just going to draw this back. It's very, very light. So I've been used, to, I've been shooting the um, PSC Expression, which is just new for 2016. That bow's about 4.8 pounds. So this bow just feels ultra light for me. So the grip feels great. I'm going to draw this back. Now the draw cycle is very, very smooth, and you're going to say that a lot. Um, on most videos but like I'm drawing it back it's solid 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 I'm not really feeling it peak at all like that's a peak there this is a 50 pound bow I'm, I'm holding on peak valley there peak there valley there peak valley so the valley is very very short it's there's not much of valley but when you get back there it's nice and solid so it's a very short valley, and because you've got such a short valley, the um, bow's going to sort of shoot pretty quick. Now I'll try and pull hard against the stops, I'm not getting a lot of movement. I'm going to take the shot. Sort of jumps, you can see the balance of the bow in my hand, and when I shoot that, it, it did that in the shot, we're going to shoot a couple more. I liked... I like the feel of it. Oh, this, this came loose. I like the feel of the bow when it's shot. I like the grip. The draw length's nice and easy to adjust. Draw stops solid. I mean, I can hold this all day here. The let off feels like about 65%. No real vibration in the shot feels great for me could I shoot this with target and shoot good scores without doubt and you know saying that you can shoot great scores with a $400 bow but this is a higher quality bow than a $400 bow you know machine riser 38 inches or 40 inches axle axle so purely set up for target archery um, the draw cycle is nice the cable guards great cable slides really really good the twin draw stops, good. Like, to me, it's a really, really nice bow. Like, when you select a target bow, and you know, I've, I've, I own stacks of bows, like, this is one I would like to shoot. The colors are pretty. They come out with, I think there's about eight colors it comes in. It's just, you know, you can change the length here from there to there. Win and win when it comes to recurves, 
you know, they started off and they've been doing, they've been in the business for years. But they sort of started off, they made a good quality recurve and they were very competitive. They won, they shot a lot of world records. They won a lot of gold medals. And they were up against tough competition at the time against Hoyt and Samick. But you look on the world stage now and have a look at how many people are shooting win and win for recurve archery. And with recurve archery, you know, there are some countries like America where the coach, you know, I'm going to say pushes Hoyt. But in a lot of countries now, win and win is almost dominant. And when I say dominant, you're probably talking about 70% of recurve archers who are shooting world championships, shooting Olympics, shooting win and win. Now this is, win and win have actually been making compound bows for a while. Um, they've been toying with it, they've been improving cam design. Well, these cams have roller bearings in them. Um, if I can just jump in there, you can just see it, see it through there. Like it's a good quality system. The limbs are good with carbon. Um, so the limbs are carbon, extreme carbon technology. You know, carbon nano tubing. Like Win and Win's big on carbon. Their risers are carbon. Their limbs are carbon on their recurves. And what they're doing is putting this technology into their compounds now. And in Korea, which is where Win and Win's from, people are now shooting compound archery. And I think this is the push of Win and Win now into the um, compounds. And like I said, they've been building them for a while, but they haven't really been cutting edge technology. And this is, to me, a bow which is rivals the other manufacturers. And shoots really, really well. I mean, the um, Jim who works here um, is a top national coach. Like I said, he shoots one of these. And I said, how are you shooting with it? He's been shooting it for about two weeks. He's shooting better scores than he ever has with it. Um, the weight's nice. Like, it's not too heavy for him. Nice little bow, $1,000. Lots of pretty colors. Very adjustable. And win and win. Uh, win and win is a fantastic company you know like i deal with win and win every day i probably talk to them five six times a day um their customer service is excellent with their recurves they are a solid recurve as far as how many problems have i had with win and win over 10 15 years very few um i could probably count them on one hand um and they always fix them and their accessories are excellent you know they work on their products they improve their products the owner of the company mr park is a great great guy as far as when i say a great guy he's a guy who looks to improve his product he works hard he's dedicated to his product he's very passionate about that he's producing a good quality product he wants feedback um the staff are very dedicated there and you know they probably are at most businesses but a lot of them do shoot or have shot, you know, Olympic quality archery. He does have a lot of Olympic archers working for the company, testing their products. Um, so you know when you get the product, it's been shot by top archers. They're getting good results with the product, and that's what the Dragonfly is. It's a product now that you're happy to to look at, you're happy to shoot. I just had a shop buy one of these for his wife this morning. Um... It's well worth looking at. So uh, win and win, Dragonfly, new for 2016. It's been on the market for 2015, but the improvements are substantial this year and well worth looking at. So Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies, win and win, Dragonfly. Check it out. Thank you. Bye.